What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. We're going to roll into that intro, then we'll get into the meat of this video and uh, go from there. So, let's build a fire. What's going on my outdoor crew? We are headed south today. Uh, we got a good early start. We got some things to do. I'm gonna give you a little backstory about the area I'm headed to. Um, as a child growing up, my grandparents, my mom's mom and dad, lived in a little town called Lewisburg, Tennessee. Now, if you know of Lewisburg, Tennessee, or have been through Lewisburg, Tennessee, you were probably lost. Because it is in the dead smack in the middle of nowhere. There is no interstate that actually leads right to it. Um, you have to drive highways all the way. So, with that said, the little town we're going to in Marshall County, where Lewisburg is, is called Chapel Hill. You always have to go through Chapel Hill to get to Lewisburg. Now, some of you that if you follow tractor pulling probably have heard of Chapel Hill, Tennessee and the Chapel Hill tractor pull. It's one of the biggest ones in the country um, from what I understand. Uh, I've been to it a handful of times. You know, growing up in the area, it is what it is. You, you went to the Chapel Hill tractor pull because it was a big one. Um, with that said, where we are heading, I've only been to, I think, two or three times at the max. And we're headed to Henry Horton State Park. And Henry Horton State Park is pretty unique. Uh, it actually is divided by a highway. Uh, and give you a little further backstory too. Uh, the original settlers to Chapel Hill, Tennessee, if you're wondering about the name, they were from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. So they couldn't come up with another name for the city, so they called it Chapel Hill. There you go. That is a true story. If you look up to Chapel Hill, Tennessee, it'll tell you the original settlers were from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. So, back to the uniqueness of Henry Horton State Park. It's divided by the major highway that runs through uh, going to uh, Lewisburg and points further south. Uh, it is called Nashville Highway that it's on because it comes out of Nashville. Once again, we did, you know, back in the day, we did, you know, made it easy, I guess. Um, the uniqueness about um, Henry Horton State Park, it's kind of one side of the road, you have a hotel, you have a uh, restaurant, which they're rebuilding. Uh, you have cabins, and you have everything from a rustic cabin to a modern cabin. Um, then you have um, shelters, the swimming pool, which is one of the times I went there was to go to the swimming pool uh, back in the day when I was a kid. Okay, so um, one of the things we're going to do while we're there today, we're going to check out the campsites and check out different things. We're going to make note of where we would like to stay when we come back next day at night. Take ramp right um, and turn right. It's still so saturated here. It's not even funny. I mean, just ground's wet, soaking wet still. We've had, you know, they're, they're saying we're going to get more of these two and three days of time rain um, this week coming up. Even In one quarter for mile, turn right. Wintry precipitation. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing. Bar shoot some video going down. Turn right. Highway as we get there because it is a pretty area, and it's not overdeveloped because, like I said, it's in the middle of nowhere. Just about. I mean, um, I think from the interstate from the interstate to get into Lewisburg is probably a 20 minute drive, easy. Um, and that and that's from any part of the interstate because it's it's so far off the interstate uh, anyway i may drop in a map right here continue on route 
so I can show you where Lewisburg is and Chapel Hill, all that is located, and uh, that way you understand a little more about it. But anyway, um, we're gonna go check out the park. We're gonna check out uh, where we'd like to stay in the future. Um, possibly another video coming out of this one today. We're gonna probably do a little trail while we're here. Why not? Got all day. It's a nice day. Um, just, I'm not. Uh, I don't know. That's it. I'm gonna stop talking and drive. Later. We are officially at Henry Horton State Park. What makes this park kind of unique is that down there. That's the Duck River. She's up. She's up a lot. <laughs> um, that goes to say with any of the uh, rivers and streams and stuff like that around here, they're up. They're up a turn lot. Turn right, then turn right. Uh, I forgot to turn her off. Anyway, uh, we're going to figure out where everything is. We're going to stop at the park office and, uh, yeah, get us a map, that kind of stuff. Because, like I said, I've only been here a handful of times and it's been a long time since I've been here. So, there you go. Go back shortly. All right, guys. Um, one of the things that this campground offers that, um, it's kind of unique is this right here is for hammock camping only so otherwise you can't come down here with a tent and camp this is for hammock camping let's check out this is site four i think it's what it says it may be a yeah hammock camp site four so you do get a fire ring, picnic table, but then you get inside and then you got all these trees, which is pretty cool. So I may have to keep this in mind, come back and do the hammock camp. Um, there's one of the other campsites and then they're going down, but definitely lots of trees these are all uh, cedars so strong trees you got some other big trees in here too but this is pretty cool and then parking lots right there in the other part of the camping grounds but yeah if you want to do a hammock hang this would be a good place I mean it's it's really neat um, still not totally ready to do the hammock thing yet i still need a decent under quilt and top quilt but uh it's a pretty area i mean you come out here and this is where you can have your thing let's see you got one two you got the third fourth fifth and there's six spots down here for hammock it's pretty neat though pretty neat um of course you got your traditional rv camping here too 
but then you have tent camping which we'll go up there and look at that here in a minute and I forgot how they call it uh, primitive camping we'll look at that too so we're gonna definitely be back to Henry Horton at some point um, I will state this that uh, this time of the year the tent camping only um, bathroom is shut down until I think it's March so next month <laughs> all right we'll back in a minute okay. the next thing I'm gonna show you is what they call their primitive campsites which I kind of get into those this real quick except for if you bring the lady folk there is no bathroom none so basically you park here and there's several other spots there's one over there but this is your primitive campsite um, which you know it, it's when it's say primitive there's no water there's no electric and there's no bathroom uh, but you got plenty of place to set up camp and plenty of flat area to uh, pop a tent up for sure and you know, these nice light poles put lantern on but uh, this would work out really 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 good um, yeah just throw up a tent and most noise I hear right now is me I hear a little bit of the highway noise but it's way off I guess you can come all the way back here and set up I don't know if they've got a I, mean, I don't know why you would want to come all the way back here you can set up right here set the tent up here and this would be your camping area but uh, there's enough trees too if you wanted a hammock I guess you could hammock here too no problem whatsoever okay I hear a little more road noise than I was thinking so yeah, we're, yeah this is a good possibility and of course for us fellas you know there's plenty of trees to duck behind to uh, do what we got to do <laughs> I'm not suggesting that but I'm saying that but yeah this there's another reason why I'm not camping this weekend I mean look at this you can see the how wet everything still is but we're still gonna do a few things while we're here yeah I, this is crazy how wet this still is <sighs> mother nature we need a little bit of a break um, I think that is part of the group camp right there where you can uh, I think maybe Boy Scout camp they have a designated area for Boy Scouts here um, I'm sure if you had a group of you wanted to use it wouldn't be a problem wouldn't be a problem at all Hiking's going to be great today. I'm sure there's going to be mud on the shoes. That's a pretty area. There's one lone camper in the camper in this part today. RV's got quite a few, but there's quite a bit open too. All right, we're back in a minute. So I forgot to show you a minute ago. This is your typical tent site that uh, you get a picnic table, a grill, fireplace, a uh, place to build a fire, and then a uh, place to put your tent right in there, and then there's even a lantern pole. Um, there's five or six of these, I think it is. I think that there's a group camp to the right. There's a bunch of people in it, so I'm not gonna video them. Now, I guess if you wanted to, and this one's pretty high up, that's a tent site. Um, the rivers well you can see the river right down there so you have a view of the river the whole time if you if you wanted it i don't know i guess you have to park at the parking lot i don't think you can just park anywhere in here but there's the river there's part of the trail 
river trail and I mean it's just muddy as all get out from hard to believe that river was up that high but there's another campsite I don't know you may park on the other side there just walk your gear down huh pretty neat pretty neat all right let's go to the other side of the road here is the hotel here at Henry Horton State Park typical state park hotel I've only stayed in one eh. Eh. <laughs> um, right over there is the swimming pool area they do have a nice Olympic size swimming pool and then back over here yeah, you know, are the cabins sorry uh, that's some of the cabins there's more over here on the other side oh yeah and they have frisbee golf if you're into that I just, I'm not, uh, nah. So, still a drive by on the cabins here. Is what it is. There's your cabins. I mean, they're not really a cabin anymore. They're, I don't know, a little house. <laughs> but it's neat. Looks like you get, to, oh, Lord, air condition. Fireplaces, satellite, maybe, I don't know. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Grills, that kind of stuff. No pets allowed, remember that. Hey, right, we're gonna go and see some more of the park. While we're sitting here, I'm sitting at one of the picnic tables here in the park on the other side. And that's my view. The old mighty Duck River. Now, I'm sitting here eating a little lunch, which I'm not going to make you watch. I'll tell you a little story about the old Duck River here. Duck River, it um, has a killing past. Um, back in the mid 70s, late 70s, on down towards Lewisburg area. Um, had one of the typical flooding rains and river flooded. I think it even got up into the main part of the park here. That's how bad it got. Um, anyways, a few days passed and people were finally getting to his home down towards Lewisburg. River runs pretty close to some cabins and stuff. So they started going through and making sure you know everybody had gotten out. Got to one cabin where they found a body and the man was actually tied to the bed yep he was tied to the bed and drowned don't know how long he'd been there I don't remember all the story but Behind me, it sounds like World War II is coming back. All the planes. A beautiful day, so I guess there is an airport close to here. The river's gorgeous. I mean, it's turning back around. He's moving pretty good. Got a good current on it. So, anyway, um, I'm about to wrap up the video from the park itself. I'm doing these trips prospecting what we're going to camp this year. Good time to do them in the winter. Got a good lay of the land. If I come back by myself, I'm going to do the primitive sites. If I come back with Chloe, we'll do a tent site so we're close to the tent bathrooms. By the way, I like a new sticker. Old sticker. That one's a limited run. Um, so anyway, it's, it's, it's a nice area. I really like it. I'll be back in a minute. We'll do a little more exploring. What's going on, everybody? All right, I gotta throw this in um, the video. Something I found before I left the park by accident. Um, come on down this. It's 
really and truly a lane and a half road. Depends on what you're passing at the time. Um, but it's wetlands area that they have brought back. It used to be part of an old homestead. So uh, give me a minute. We're going to drive down to it. That's what the footage you're going to see is going down to the wetlands area. And um, we're going to check it out. We're not going to hike it though because I'm, I'm just going to show you where it is because if you just happen to um, be at the campground, you'll miss this if you don't go down to it. Because it is not, well it is on the map, but you got to know it's there and you got to pay attention to uh, it being there. <laughs> so, uh, it's a really neat, this is a really, really, really neat campground or state park now that I find out a little bit more about it. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is it. This is the wetlands area. It used to be a um, um, homestead at one time. And they've turned it, let it grow back into the wetlands. Let's go down here real quick. Look at the sun. This is pretty neat. If I hadn't uh, gotten lost on the little road, I wouldn't have known it was back here. Uh, let's see, this is actually called the Ronnie Bowers Wetland Trail. So there you go. Looks like it'd be pretty neat. And actually, when you get back here and look, there's there's where we are right there. So it's a little under a mile round trip. But I'm sure it takes you down by the river and all that. That's pretty cool. He said they just reopened this up in the last couple of years, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at that. That is just awesome. Alright guys. Alright guys, we're gonna wrap up this video from Henry Horton State Park. Um I do. With that said, I you know, I found a place I'm gonna come back to when it dries up a little bit. I'm gonna tell you something, it's a soupy mess over here. Um yeah, I'm not putting my stuff down in this stuff, this mud. Just not happening. Um, if I had an underquilt, I might even go um, camping over in the um, hammock area. That was pretty cool, too. Um, I don't know how many state parks around here does that, but that was pretty cool. That was really cool. So, um, before I get to saying so, so many times that you can't count, um, had a great day awesome out it's not too cool and it's not too warm if it wasn't so darn wet i'd be staying in this campsite right now tonight but i'm just not going to do that so there it goes as we would say on this channel make sure you check all the links down below subscribe share all that good stuff and uh We'll be camping here real soon, real soon. Um, weather's just gotta cooperate a little bit. I don't mind it raining while I'm asleep at night and get up next morning and it's gone, but uh, this is what we've been having. Nope, so be prepared guys. Mm -hmm.